Hi everyone, welcome to the money date. I am showing you quite a bit of scenery here. It is snow day in Maryland and so I am a bit stuck. Just got here yesterday and was a bit surprised. So I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, background and then we're going to get into actually having a money date. I hope you're doing well. So if you happen on here, let me know how things are going. This is a beautiful uh, property um, where my dad and uh, his wife live. This is called Quarry Lake. Um, the lake is not frozen. Um, it's not that cold actually. It's about 32 degrees, but um, they got about five to six inches of snow today. So I thought it was actually fun um, to walk around and, um, and do perhaps a money date um, outside in the snow. But I do want to talk to you about finances. So um, I hope my view is great and you can see me and can hear me well. Um, so, hi, whoever just joined, good to have you. Hi, Wanda, good to have you here. So, here's what I'm talking about. The question comes up quite a lot about buying or renting, right? And it's not a very easy question to answer because it all depends on a lot of a lot of circumstances so i want to get into discussing that with you but as you guys know what we do on the money date first of all is we actually check in with ourselves right just because i'm outside doesn't mean i can't talk about finances i'm gonna put my glove on um, because it's freezing it's not that cold but it is cold so when we check in with the, with our finances once a week on wednesday we we want to talk about um three things. We want to figure out how has the spending been so far for the week? Do we uh, stay on track with our income, right? Do we know what we've earned? And how are we doing with our savings goals? So those three things that I ask you to track every week. Um, the reason for that being, even though we get so busy with our um, daily routines, we get so busy with our um, schedules, it's good to have these small data points. Hi, Walter. Good to have you here. It's good to have those data points so that at any time it helps you not feel overwhelmed. Okay. So I hope for those of you who are here in Maryland, DC, Virginia, you got a snow day. <laughs> you actually had time to um, check in with yourself. Now, the other thing that I also like to do once a week is share my money win. So my money win for the week actually being able to spend the snow day with my family. You know, one of the things that I used to do um, when I was a teenager, um, and I appreciate it actually, I appreciate this more now than I did before, but actually having snow days. So I used to live in the Maryland area and um, on these snow days that we had, we used to go out with my brother and my dad and actually um, walk. So this is what we did. We walked for about three miles to get to this, um, to this beautiful lake. Um, so that I can do this video. But I remember doing this when, we, when I was a teenager. We used to have a dog. His name was Tommy. He passed, he passed since then. Oops, oops, losing my broadcast. <laughs> it's a bit windy. So um, that is my money win. I did not plan this. I would have never been able to actually plan something like that. Getting here um, right the day before, actually, in the morning of when the storm came in. Um, so I guess I should have checked the weather, but... I didn't. So I want to get into the actual topic um, of why and should you actually buy? And I'm talking about real estate properties. I'm talking about, you know, all of these beautiful apartments or it's, these are not apartments, it's actually condos. So this whole lake, this is just an example. Hi, Heather. Good to have you. This is just an example of um, what I'm thinking about. So buy versus rent, it comes up a lot. Um, and you know, with the new tax laws too, a lot of our clients, and so living in California, right, not having opportunity to actually have snow, um, um, you know, actually, you know, this question um, is on the mind of a lot of people. So the, the latest tax reform, right, that um, it became effective in 2018 is going gonna, is gonna to simulate thinking about renting versus buying decisions. So is, is, is the home something that everybody needs to own? right? Is that, is that a type of asset, right? I'm talking about when I'm thinking about buying, right? And thinking in terms of investments, my idea is always to buy assets to bring income. So I want you to think about it that way too. So what assets actually bring income? And so the home that you actually buy, does that bring you income? Yes, you can argue with me and say that 
um, it grows up, grows in value and you pay down the mortgage, but it does not give you income every month. What it does, it actually costs you money. So, um, interesting. Um, I wouldn't think that, I want to show you something. I wouldn't think that this lady is actually running around the lake. Um, I wouldn't think that you want to run around the lake uh, at this kind of weather. So, um, let's look at the two scenarios because each of the scenarios, and depending where you live in this country, right? California versus East Coast or somewhere in the Midwest, these options maybe actually may make sense to both arguments, right? But I want you to think about it from the perspective of removing the feelings around you've got to own the home, you've got to, you know, it's something like the American dream that you have to have. I just want to make sure I can see your comments. Hi, okay, good. Hi, Wanda. So, um, actually, I just checked this morning because I was curious to see. You guys know that interest rates increase. Um, so, does that still make sense, right? So, the mortgages, hi, Corey. Uh, it is a bit cold. Hi, Jennifer. Um, you know, guys, I actually don't even own a hat like that. So, my, um, my dad's wife, my stepmother, was gracious enough to lend me a hat. Um, I do not own, and gloves too. So uh, yeah, sunny California, Jennifer. I miss our Palo Alto sunny weather. So, all right, let's talk about rent versus buy. All right, Corey, you can chime in here because you are in the space of that. So um, I wanna think about it from the perspective of does that actually bring you income? If you just wanna have a home and raise a family, you can do that anywhere. So I don't wanna tie in the emotions to the actually making the decision about um, purchases, right? Or, or going for actually renting. So I look at it when the, when clients come in and I look at it from the perspective of does it make financial sense? So, um, a couple of things I want to think about the tax consequences, right? Um, the tax consequences in terms of the new tax reform, um, two big ones are being mortgage interest deductions, not being able to deduct as much interest as we used to. So there is a limit on how much, um, of a mortgage, um, you can actually carry and still be, be able to deduct the interest. So 750000 Now, in states like California, right, New York, where property values are huge, there's also limitation on um, how much uh, property taxes you can deduct. It's crazy. It's only $10,000. Do you know uh, that the average home where we live in, in the town where I live in all the way on the peninsula is about a million too, right? And like, not an average, maybe a starter home property taxes are going to be fifteen to twenty thousand dollars so I want to think about those kinds of things but in in the grand scheme of things about the, the, for the decision about buying versus renting it's it's your timeline so are you going to stay in this property whether you're renting it or buying for a long time if the answer is yes maybe you should consider now I'm going to talk a little bit later about uh, figuring out how you can actually afford it, right? In terms of the mortgage that you can carry and a down payment. But think about that. So short term versus long term. Now, um, how about, um, all right, let's talk about the down payment because that also comes into a decision at the very beginning. Because if you don't have enough money for a down payment, then the renting is your, perhaps your only option at the moment, right? And maybe you can do that for a long time. And maybe it's a choice. What I'm seeing with younger generation, right? Millennials. It's actually a choice to rent, not necessarily something that you have to do because it provides flexibility. So maybe perhaps on the cold days like this or cold months, right? You can just pick up and go and find a warm place. Much, much harder to do this um, when you have a mortgage to pay every, um, every month. So, um, all right. The financial aspects that I look at is the cash flow. It is not, and, and I look at these numbers all the time, it is not, the same when you have a rent payment and then you drop, you com directly compare that to the mortgage payment because owning a home requires other expenses that many of us don't think. So it is not mortgage payment equals um, rent payment. It is a lot more that you have to take into account. So when you're doing your spending plan, right? When you're looking at the numbers, consider um, looking at those as well. Now, um, from the investment perspective, I mentioned this at the very beginning, but are you going to actually consider that as your investment so why I, i'm not saying that it's not because some people view it as, as it is but are you going to actually put a lot of your eggs right a lot of your hard-earned dollars into actually um having to pay down the mortgage you many of you remember not too long ago actually less than 10 years this year in, in um september october timeline is going to be 10 years since we had the last 
crash, right, in the recession in this country. So what happened to all those people who actually had mortgages and homes they couldn't afford? So, um, you know, at the very bottom, when you're making a decision, right, I want to, what I want to do, I want to stand up a little bit. I want to do, I want to challenge you to think about this from the perspective of um, removing the emotions, from perspective of, does it make financial sense, right? And what can you do? Um, what can you do, right? And I had actually clients the other day who were, um, they're, um, I think they're in their 50s maybe. Um, and the idea of actually renting um, was something that they could not comprehend, right? They were thinking about, wow, all right, people at, at this type of stage in, our, uh, in la- our lives are supposed to own home and perhaps pay it off. But is it really true? So I, have, I, I want to challenge us to think about removing that stigma and perhaps looking at real estate in terms of investments and not places that you actually have to live in. Um, one of my mentors um, talks about this quite a bit. Um, his, his name is Grant Cardone. Um, and I like the idea is that you, you rent where you live because, again, that may provide you with the flexibility that you want. Hi, Amy. Good to have you here. And you buy properties if it has to be real estate that brings you actual income so i hope i didn't shatter your ideas about um, why you need to uh, or why you shouldn't or why why you should right because everybody has a different reason Um, but i wanted to provide some perspective because um, i think for two big reasons is that interest rates have increased right Um, um, on mortgages and savings accounts too but the new taxes and that are coming our way in 2018 are going to impact all should impact a lot of decisions that you associate with actually buying so i want you guys to think about um that um but that's all i've got um i'm going to show you the view a little bit let me just take my glove on hi diana good to have you here so um here's just the beautiful view and i wanted to i have a quote here i had my notes prepared uh, but wasn't sure what kind of scenery i was going to have um to make sure that that was working so here i know you know a lot of people say home is where your heart is um and so here's this quote by maya maya angelin um, the ache for home it lives in all of us the safe place where we can go as we are and we are and can be quieted so think about where the home is for you oh look at this look at these um geese i guess right there's a lot of them here so beautiful when i used to live in maryland we also lived on a lake like this and it was actually quite fun so all right that's all i've got for you to um to think about today um if you have questions let me know uh and i know it's not an easy decision but it's certainly something that everybody's gonna come to so thanks for tuning in i'm gonna walk three miles back and enjoy the snow day. I actually, you know, the beauty of working remotely is that I didn't have a snow day, so, (laughs) but it was nice um, not to have to shove snow. So I appreciate that. I can't wait to get back to Southern California. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.